G'day, this is a video on how to register a pre-core console. This is the P82 console, but this can be for the P62 as well. Um, this will just be a quicker video. My other video is a bit more in-depth on how to register uh, these consoles, but this one's going to be a quick one, or quicker video. So what we need to do is we need to put in the code into the uh, console, which if we press and hold the volume up button, and then we press channel up, channel down, channel down, channel up, and then let go. So you press and hold volume down, and then you're pressing channel up, channel down, channel down, channel up, and then this keypad will come up. And then when this keypad comes up, what uh, we've got to do is put in the um, pre-core code, 51765761, hit OK, and then you go into the settings mode here. Uh, within here what we need to do this is we're doing internet so here if we just look quickly at about this will give the serial number for the console but not the base serial number because we're going to register the um, the base serial number so uh, that'll come up after we register and also it'll have a friendly name on it so if we go back here uh, what we'll do is we go into system settings and then we go into connectivity at this location, we're going to register it um, or put it online through Wi-Fi. Normally, it would be wired, but we are starting to do Wi-Fi now as well. If it's if the the Wi-Fi is stable enough, we can do that. This has to be here. This normally isn't here, but normally, if this was set uh, like this and it's not supported, so you need to have the actual address. So here, we'd actually put in that na.prover.com. So na.prover.com, hit OK, and that'll be there. This one here hasn't got the IP address because it's not connected. So if we do a configure, look up the um, Wi-Fi for this uh, area, and then let me just put this uh, Wi-Fi code in. Okay, so this is the, so I've punched in the Wi-Fi code for this location. Uh, I hit, just hit, hit connect. And then it'll, it'll think about it. Connecting, obtaining IP address. And then it will finally be connected so you know it's actually connected. So hit the back button and then you know here it's connected because it's giving you the IP address now for it. So with that, you've got the na.prever.com set. We're doing wireless. Wireless, uh, we have to put in the password obviously and then the IP address will come up. If you do wired, it'll actually just come up. The IP address will come up straight away. Um, so that's the case there. So that's all set. We hit back and then here we're going to go register equipment. And then we go, yep, next, we're ready to go. Here we put register at uh, pre-core. So it's register at precore.com. Hit next, and the password is actually password. So punch in password as the password. Hit OK, and then here's all the local settings for your particular um, location you're at. This one for this location code is the location code of the actual gym. If it's a brand new gym before you go to site, um, you do have to have that location code. So normally you'd send to uh, Pre-core head office or the the area um, at director. Uh, in a, I'm in Australia here, so in Australia, it's, um, we'd send an email to him or message him, and he'll set up uh, this brand new location code for this actual gym. Um, if it if the gym has has Pre-core equipment already and it does have a location code, and you're just refreshing or renewing the gym equipment, what you have to do is uh, delete all the old cardio equipment off the previous system. Which again, we'd need to send an email to pre-core direct themselves or their area director as well and they would um, manually delete all the cardio equipment off the list on Priva so then we could actually re-register re uh, the new equipment so we don't have double. If you just go and register the new equipment that's come into the gym then they'll basically have double. They'll have all the old equipment details on there and all the new equipment and it'll be a bit, a bit messy um, so just have to make sure that we delete the old cardio if, if that's what we're doing or if we're just uh, refurbishing or replacing their treadmills then just delete all the treadmills off Priva and and then you can uh, install all the other ones 
So for this location, this happens to be this location's um, code. And this is the base serial number, which is the serial number of the treadmill itself. Always do it in uh, capitals, just so it's easy to see. And then just also obviously double check your numbers that they're correct. At the end, I'll show you on a couple of others, I'm registering a fair few pieces of equipment here. Uh, at the end, it'll basically tell you if you've done something wrong, uh, or whether if you got the password wrong, or, or the base serial number's already been registered at another gym or something like that, then um, uh, it'll, it'll tell you that at the end. So this here, we're gonna do treadmill number two. Um, with all the machines, we'd like to sort of put them in as, this is the second machine on this line, so this will be the first treadmill from the left. So we normally do each bit of equipment, like all treadmills from left to right, and then we'll do all ellipticals from left to right, and then all bikes from left to right. Uh, put them in, so name them like treadmill one, two, three, four, from left to right as they sit, um, just to sort of keep it standard so we know it's all, all, um, all a standard setting. So here it knows its own um, a console serial number. We put in the base serial number. We've got the location code and we've got the friendly name for the for this particular machine. So register. This takes this may take like a minute, a minute and a half, or it might take three or four minutes, um, depending on how it goes. I've just got a couple of other examples here. This a treadmill next to it. I've completed this one. This one is how this one will look after a couple of minutes when it finally registers it should say this so the current software version they had when they made this actual console is this one but the latest version has come out as, as this so uh, what it will do is if if we just hit finish it, get, it gives you the summary and then overnight at a certain time it will um, it will upload the latest software overnight Precore normally pushes through software at about two or three in the morning um, to these cons to these consoles as long as the machines not being actually used at the time they try and push the software through so if someone is actually on on this particular treadmill at 2 a.m in the morning and they try to push the software through the treadmill needs to be in standby mode or in sleep mode as well for it to um, to be able to take a uh, update so if one machine or two mission people are on them then it will probably do it the following night or the next time they push through a software update it'll just update to the latest version again there uh, the one that they're pushing through at the time so I just hit finish on that registration and then on this one we'll just hit the back button until we go all the way back out um, and then we'll we'll reset um, all those settings and then start back up again at the startup screen these other ones here I've left these as a fault of well, I've made them as a fault this one I, I made the um, the password wrong with this one so it's saying the uh, the usual username and passwords wrong like a phone thing so with this we would hit next and it goes back in there. It remembers some of the things we registered. So we'll hit next here. The password's there, which was password is the password. Hit next. Um, and then um, that's all the basic um, details on that. But what we probably did here, actually, what did I do? Register, oh yeah, see here's what I did. On this one, I did the R, R rather than P. So that's why it didn't register. So I'll go back here. Precore, come on, precore.com, so register at precore.com, hit next, the password's correct, friendly name's all still there, and then this will now think about it and register, we'll come back to that just to make sure it's done that, this one here we can see is still thinking about it and registering the, the console, and I've got another fault with this one here, which this one was set up in our warehouse as a demonstrator version and we did register it so it's saying that the base uh, serial number has already it is already in use and registered with on Priva with Precore uh, at another location so that means that this actual base of this uh, EFX rather than the console the console is brand new out of the box so that hasn't been registered but the base has been because uh, maybe we had a different console on here or maybe a P62 console and it has already been registered with Priva. So what we need to do here is email uh, Precor uh, Direct, the factory direct, um, or the, the, your local area director for, for Precor themselves, and then have them delete this particular, or email them this particular, um, the base serial number, 
and then have them delete that off the system, which sometimes they can do that within you know five or ten minutes of emailing. They can, if they see the email, they can uh, delete it, and um, and then you can re-register it again. So then you just go through the same settings we've done before and do it. So this one hasn't hasn't registered because we need to delete that. Uh, all these other ones have registered as well. Once you know they update and the internet is connected and then the um, it updates the software, once you have this run TV on the middle of the screen, uh, you know it's also on the internet as well. If we find one here that doesn't isn't uh, yeah, that one's got run TV as well. I think one of these bikes haven't updated yet. No, they all have, I've missed it. Yeah, sometimes they won't have run TV on the middle of the console uh, at first, when you first come to it. If they don't have, like after you've registered it, and if it doesn't have run TV straight away, then maybe leave it five or 10 minutes because it needs to connect to the internet and, and get, um, get the update. And then it will show itself being on, on the internet. So if we go back to this one, this one's happened to be thinking about it for a long time, so that's fine. It can take yeah, quite a few minutes to register, uh, which this one is. But that's basically how you register um, consoles, the P62 or the P82 uh, pre-core consoles. Thanks.